What's going on everybody and welcome to part five of the Python 3 basic series. In this video, we're gonna be talking about indexes with lists and um, slicing because we might as well while we're here. So what we've been doing is working on this tic-tac-toe game that we're trying to produce. And the next thing that we wanna do is like, let's say a player says they wanna play at a certain position. How do we modify that specific position in our actual game? So what we can use, first of all, you can use indexes to get um, an exact value, but you can also set a value at a specific index, or you could use a slice. So to exemplify this, what I'm going to do is multi-line comment out what we've done so far. So quote, 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 close it off here. And then I'm just going to work right above here and just make some space. So, um, so let's say we've got a list. I'm gonna say L equals, and we're just gonna say uh, one, two, three, four, five, just for quick reference. To reference an index of a list, we can say L, and then in square brackets, we put the index. So let's say L1, so the thing that's at the firsteth index, what should that be? Well, it's gonna be the two, right? Because the one is the zeroth index. So if we were to print this out, we can see, okay, we get a two here. Now, uh, the other thing that we can do is we can do more fancy things. Like for example, um, we, we can even do like, so like what if we wanted to reference that five? Well, the five would be at index four, right? But five is also at the end of the list. So we could reference it with a negative one. So at the negative firsteth element of the list, also a five. We can also reference a slice. So we can reference from the firsteth to the uh, third index. And you can see here, it is a two to a three. So the first is this two all the way up to the third, which is the three. We could go like this. Or if you wanted to do everything from a certain point, you could say two colon for everything after the second index and so on. There's lots of stuff that we can do there. Uh, the next thing that we can do is like, for example, we can print L here and you see it's one, two, three, four, five. We can set something at a specific index. So we could say L one equals 99. Now print L and we can see it's been modified here. Now it's 99. So putting this together with our, uh, our game, wherever it is, we can let the player basically, when they say they want to play at a certain position, we can use indexes to do that. Now, this is a list of lists. So at index zero, we're referencing this part of the list. So we'd have to, we, we could change that to be a single scalar value. That would be a mistake. Uh, so instead we actually have to reference inside of the list of lists, what we want to change. So let's say we wanted to change this number. It would be, um, you know, game zero in brackets, and then some more brackets, a one. So let's just go ahead and uh, make that manipulation. So let's run this and just see what we're looking at. Cool. Now, if we just go here and we say game zero and then one, so this is zero, and then the firsteth index there is gonna be right here, this, this position here. So we can say that, uh, that is equal to whatever we want it to be. So let's say we want it to be a one. Now let's run everything. So now you can see, yep, that one got modified there. So that's how we can set uh, the, you know, when a player is playing, we can put an X here. You could put an X here, by the way. We could say X like that. And now you can see it's a string X. Um, I don't really want to do that because, yeah, the quotes are going to mess things up. Like I said, later on, if you want to make that change and make it more visually appealing, um, have at it. But for now, I'm going to do this so everything stays in pretty line. So um, now, uh, now that we have this, what we want to do is start to let a player uh, play on the game map as well as like every time we want to make a change or whatever, we want to be able to display the game map. So every time a player plays, we want to show the, the new game map and so on. 
And if we wanted to do that, what we would wind up doing is every time we wanted to see the game map, we would, we would have to copy and paste this little chunk of code. Well, in programming, anytime you have repetition of a block of code, or even if that block of code is a little bit different, if it's a, a repetition of a fairly similar block of code, chances are you should stop that. There's probably a better way, either through using some sort of loop, or in this case, a function. So every time we want to display the game, we really don't want to do it this way. Um, because for example, like if, if, you know, here's the start of the game here, and then, okay, we want to make a new uh, change. So game zero one equals one. Well, if we want to, now we'd want to, like let's say that, you know, the player enters that. Now we want to make a change. We'd have to run this code all over again. Right, and eventually that's gonna that's gonna be a bunch of like wasted space in your code. It's gonna make things harder to read and so on. So we definitely want to start using functions. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on in the next tutorial. If you've got questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.